Tim Maria here live at the Digital Health Summit studio at CES 2013. We have Catherine Calarco, and you just came out of the quantified self. We've had some fascinating uh, questions so far. Yeah, it's been, it was a great session, very interactive. People were really curious as to whether quantified self was an answer or another distraction. So it was, it was a great talk. So with this, we have all these different devices. What's, what's actually needed to get consumers to change behavior? That's a great question because you've got monitoring, you know, and what do you do with the information? How do you actually get the benefit that you really want out of it? And at HeartMath, what we see is that you need to have not only a monitoring, but you need to have coaching or an intervention inter integrated. So what we do is we provide real-time feedback. So we know, yeah, real-time HRV feedback. So you know exactly what's happening inside your heart with, and, and within your body to create inner balance. So that inner balance is achieved through coaching and through techniques and through a, a, a series of, uh, of tips that come through. So, uh, so what we believe in is when you create inner balance, you create, you create outer coherence, so outer balance as well. So we, uh, and, and behavior change starts with those emotional response to stress. So stress is a real killer. So yeah, what, yeah, you, yeah. You, what you want to do is manage your emotional response. There are no tigers in the cubicles. An email is not a killing device, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you yeah. need not to react so negatively to that. So yeah. you can change your emotional response to stress. You can do that. Let's drill down on that. Like, what are some other tips you would have for people to really mellow out, I guess? Yeah, exactly. Well, it's a state of calm awareness. So through the Inner Balance app, it's a new mobile phone, iPhone app. It, what it does is it helps you to see what state you're in, right? Uh, okay, am yeah. I in a chaotic state yeah. or am I in a nice, coherent state? Uh -huh. And it teaches you to shift. So three, three easy steps. And everybody can do this, so that if you want to do this at home, you can. So the first step is to focus the attention on your area of your heart or your chest. It's really about centering yourself, being more aware of what you're doing, and then breathing. When you're stressed, you tend not to breathe deep enough or exhale enough. So you want to focus and breathe five seconds in and five seconds out. Nice, slow, deep breaths. And the third most important step is to engage a positive emotion. Based on our, yeah, it, positive emotions, you can change your state and perception of the world by really changing the way you feel about your world, yourself, and that, it, through our 18 years of research, really? is, yeah, we've done a, a huge amount of research, over 80 papers on this, and, and case studies in, across major, large organizations and hospitals. That state is a state of love or appreciation, and, and that state can be fed back to you through our device called the Inner Balance. Wow. And you can see when you're there. So people say, oh, I meditate or I yoga. Well, yeah, but how do you know you're there? And this tells you when you're there, and it also tells you how to get there. So it live better, feel better. Where do, I, where do I go to check this out? Oh, yeah, easy. Uh, you come to heartmath.com, H-E-A-R-T-M-A-T-H dot com, and, uh, you, or you can send us an email at info at heartmath.com, and we will give you all the information and help you guide your way to inner balance. Great. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much, Tim. It's been a pleasure. Be well.